my beautiful friends, and welcome to this very quick but effective 15 minute yoga break. In these quick 15 minutes, we will strengthen your back and get your blood moving. If you have been sitting a lot, this class will feel amazing in your body. And since this flow is so short, it is the perfect addition for a busy day. Now, let's get started. We are going to begin this class today sitting on our heels, bring your knees together, and then gently close your eyes. Take a deep breath into your belly, and exhale, let it go. Again, deep breath in, exhale, letting it all leave your body. Become present, arrive on your mat. From here, interlace your hands behind your back and then pull your fist down towards the floor, opening the chest up to the sky. Maybe you wanna throw your head all the way back, maybe not. Deep breaths here to open the entire front body. Now from here, bend both elbows and then place your fist on your left hip. And then start by doing some big head rolls, rolling your head towards your left side. Making these head rolls as big as they are comfortable for you in your body right at this moment. And then come back to center and pull your fist down towards the floor once more, opening your chest towards the sky, maybe throwing your head back. And then again, bending your elbows, this time placing your fist on your right hip. And then again, let's do some big head rolls, this time rolling the head in the other direction, so towards your right side. Make one last big circle with your head. And then slowly come back to center once more, pulling your fists down towards the floor, coming into this slight back bend, looking up. And then release the clasp of the hands. And at this time, let's shake it out. Shake out your entire upper body. Shake out your shoulders, your arms, your wrists. Make this movement very expressive. I really want you to let go of all the energies you are carrying right at this moment. Now from here, place both of your hands on top of your shoulders. Take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, draw a half circle towards the front until your elbows touch. Inhale, open the elbows out to the side, drawing a circle. Exhale, bring the elbows together in front of you. Inhale, opening them out to the side, drawing big circles with your arms. Exhale, bring the elbows together. Inhale, bring them out to the side and around. Exhale, bring the elbows to touch. Inhale, open the shoulders out to the side. One more time, exhale, bring the elbows to touch. Inhale, opening mouth to the side. Exhale, this time release. On your next inhale, reach both arms over your head. From here, bend the left arm and grab the left elbow with your right hand and then pull your left arm towards your right side, creating lots of length in your entire left side body. Make sure that your ribs aren't sticking out, but that your belly is engaged here. Now extend the left arm and grab the left 
rest with your right hand and then again pulling your left arm towards your right side creating even more length and now let's switch sides bending the right arm grabbing hold of your right elbow with your left hand pulling it towards the left again make sure that your belly is engaged and you're bringing your ribs in And then slowly extend your right arm, grabbing hold of your wrist with your left hand, pulling it towards your left side. And then slowly release the arms back down. And then make your way into an all fours position. Right away, we are going to start making some big circles with our entire upper body. Now, I invite you to close your eyes here and make this movement as intuitive as you can. Just move your body in circles and then maybe change the direction of the circle doesn't matter what it looks like here I just want you to move I just want you to breathe and then slowly find stillness again now pull your belly in making sure that your spine is straight from here let's extend the right leg back and the left arm forward inhale here exhale tip the hand and the foot to the floor inhale lift it back up Exhale, tap it down. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, tap it down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lifting it up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower. Four more of these. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, tap it to the floor. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, tap the hand and the foot to the floor. Inhale, lift it up. This time, hold. Lower the hand down. Keep your right leg extended as you lower the foot down. Inhale, press into the hands as you lift the left knee towards the chest. Exhale, lower the left knee down and lift the right leg. Inhale, lower the neck and press the knee into your chest. Exhale, lower the knee and lift the leg up. Again. Inhale, press the knee into your chest. Exhale, lower the knee down, lift the leg up. Two more times. Inhale, bring your knee into your chest. Exhale, lower the knee down and lift the right leg. Last time, inhale, press into your hands as you lift the knee into your chest. Now from here, step into your plank position and exhale, lower down Chaturanga Dandasana. Take a deep breath in as you press yourself up into your upward facing dog. And then lower all the way down onto your mat. Inhale, press into your baby cobra. Exhale, flow the chest down. Again, inhale, press up into cobra. Exhale, wave the chest towards your mat. Inhale, press up. Exhale, wave the chest down. Last time, inhale, press up into Cobra, this time hold. Now you can stay here or slowly walk your fingertips towards the front of your mat, extending both of your arms and coming into an even deeper Cobra. Take deep belly breaths here. And then on your next exhale, release. Place your hands underneath your shoulder plates and press yourself back into an all fours position. Let's do the other side. Extending the left leg back this time and the right arm forward. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, tap the hand and the foot to the floor. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, tap it down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, tap it to the floor. Inhale, lift up, stay strong in your belly. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Five more. Inhale up. 
Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift it up. Keep your hips square. Exhale, tap it to the floor. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last time, inhale, lift. Only place the hand down. Flex the left foot. Lower the foot down. Inhale, bring the right knee into your chest. Exhale, lower the knee, lift the left leg up. Inhale, pressing the right knee into your chest again. Exhale, lower the knee, lift the left leg. Inhale, press into your hands as you lift the right knee. Exhale, lower the knee, lift the left leg. Inhale, press the knee up into your chest. Exhale, lower the knee down, lifting the left leg. Last time, stay strong. Inhale, lift the knee into your chest. Now from here, step back into your plank position. Exhale, lower down Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, press yourself into your upward facing dog. And as you exhale this time, press back into your first downward facing dog. From here right away, I invite you to walk out your dog Bending both knees or one at a time, whatever feels right in your body right now. And then find stillness again, lots of length in your back. On your next inhale, you're going to slowly round your back forward, coming into plank. Exhale, push yourself back into your down dog. Again, inhale, slowly come forward like an ocean wave. Exhale, press back, stay strong, down dog. Inhale, come forward into plank. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into plank, this time lower down Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Beautiful. One deep breath into your belly. Exhale fully. Again, deep breath in, look forward. Exhale, two steps to the top of your mat. Now simply remain in your forward fold. You can nod the head from side to side, yes and no, just shaking out any last tension in your neck. And then slowly bend into your knees and sit all the way onto your mat. Slide your hands down your thighs as you make your way back onto your mat lying on your back. From here, walk your feet as close to your seat as possible. And then lift your hips up. Now you're more than welcome to interlace your hands, walk your shoulder blades together. And then simply stay here, lifting your hips up as high as possible. Both of your legs are engaged. Take deep breaths into your entire upper body. Keep your inner thighs engaged to make sure that your knees don't fall out to the side. And also lift your chin up to create space there. Enjoy this beautiful, gentle inversion. Take one last deep breath into your belly, lifting the hips high and then exhale, lower it all down to the floor. From here, let both of your knees fall towards the left and extend the right arm towards your right side, looking towards your right hand for this gentle twist. Let's take a deep breath in together. Exhale with an open mouth. Again, deep breath in. Exhale with an open mouth, let it all go. Make sure you keep breathing deeply here to create lots of space in this beautiful twist. 
Now lift your knees back up and then let them fall towards your right side, extending the left arm towards your left. We are winding down our practice now, so I invite you to close your eyes here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale this time through your nose, letting it go. Again, deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out as you slowly bring your knees back to center and right away into your chest. Bring your hands underneath your knees and then let's rock up into your boat for one. Rock back and up into your boat for two. Last time. This time when you rock up, land in your seated position. Place your hands on your thighs. And then gently close your eyes again. Let's end this practice together. As you inhale, reach your arms up over your head. Exhale, bring the palms together and in front of your chest. Again, inhale, reach your hands up towards the sky. Exhale, palms together in front of your chest, bowing down to yourself at this time. Being grateful that you took these 15 minutes for yourself to activate your body today. Thank you so much for joining me on your mat today. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed this quick little yoga flow with me, my friends. And if you did, it would mean the world to me if you would hit that subscribe button to help me bring more yoga into this world. 